Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is me, Mysterious Cameron, and today I'm doing my re year three review of my channel. So I'm going to be talking about everything I reviewed in my last year. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just scroll through every video and talk about the videos I want to talk about. And then I'm going to say my top five favorite videos of the year. Before we get into it, if you haven't already seen the official trailer for my own fan film, Spider Man King Pin of Time, that's on my channel now, and we'll get to it very soon. So the first video was why most Marvel fan films are amazing. It was okay. I'm not going to talk about every video. I'm just going to kind of go to the ones I want to. Um, What is going on with Spider-Man Lotus is another big review. Again, I just started. This is probably the biggest review I have did to that point. Um, Moving on. Next is probably going to be Moon Knight episode all seasons ranked. Episode 1 all season episodes ranked. Um, I really liked this video. And it actually was my first kind of big video off. Like, it's release. Moving on is going to be Boba Fett Notice Integrations. Uh, this was a very good video when it released. Um, it was my best review to that point. This is what definitely got me into doing fan film reviews a lot more often. A very good video. It did very well. Um, next is the two Doctor Stranges, Doctor Strange Origins and Doctor Strange Nightmare. Both were actually seen by the creator of the... Um, I forgot their channel name, but they, Jeff Sava or something, they saw the videos and commented, which was the first time that that happened for a fan film. And I'll point that out whenever that happens. Next is going to be probably the Spider-Man Lotus Q&A update. Um, this was a update when the Q&A thing released. Um, it did very well. Um, what you'll notice is a every single one of my Spider-Man Lotus videos do very well. So, this is another one of those Lotus videos that did very well, and I was very happy with it by that point. Next, we have the Spider-Man, my thoughts on the Spider-Man Lotus controversy. So, what happened is everyone was blowing up about um, Gavin Knopp and if he was a good person or not. And I decided to release my thoughts with this actually not bad thumbnail with, like, some Twitter posts and stuff. And it, 81 views might not seem good now, but that was the biggest at the time that was the second biggest fan film review video i ever released and it also blew up like it got i think like eight, all of those views really in the first two days so 81 views in the first two days now wasn't that impressive but then it was very impressive for my channel so that one's still one of my favorite videos and i think if i released it now like with a controversy like that i think it would do way better i want an illuminati movie um, a video that didn't do very well, I think it definitely should have done better. It talks about why I think there should be an Illuminati movie. Um, that is one video I would definitely recommend to you guys. Um, next is the Mudblood Part 1 review. This is a video that was commented on by the creators of it, um, Conrad Studios. They commented on stuff like that. So, yeah. Moving on, um, this was my summer when I was, in, was when I was away and scheduled all these videos. None of them really did well. Um, this, Why I Hate the Amazing Spider-Man 2, was the best video I ever released in the summer. So, I was very happy when that one did well. Next, we have looking at fan film ratings. This is the last time I did a video kind of looking through, like, just, like, a casual video kind of like this one. And this one talks about me going through, like, different fan films, seeing their ratings. This is, if you kind of want just, like, a normal video that isn't really too edited and stuff, I definitely recommend that one. It's another fun video to kind of see. Next, we have our I Am Groot review. This is probably, uh, this is up to that point, the best review I ever did. And this is what really kicked off fan film reviewing for me. So let's move on. Next, we have Thor Love and Thunder review. So this is another video, again, that did very well for the standards. Now, not that good, but then very good. Next is the Amazing Spider-Man, fa Amazing Fantasy, Spider-Man Story, reaction review. First reaction, one of the first reactions, I should say, did very well. Spider-Man Prom Night teaser trailer. No, this is the official trailer, I should say. Ver this is the first really big 0.25x speed review I did. The first time I ever did the slashing thumbnails, as you see. And it did very well, and I'm very happy with what this did. And actually helped my channel with all the reviews you'll see from Hourglass Films coming up. And I believe this was commented on like also, by... No, what? it was not commented on by Hourglass Films. Okay, let's move on. Next one is going to be Spider-Man Prom Night, full 0.25 XP. I'll get into that later in the breakdown, but I kind of just like the Spidey sense. Um, this one had a lot of comments, so I'm just going to go through them. Great depth breakdown. Um, this 
is Hourglass Swim Slow actually did, and it actually helped give a lot of different comments on it. Um, this is another one of my favorite v- reviews I've ever done. Um, in my opinion, it's just a very good, over sorry, a very good overall review, and it kind of touches on everything. And when I did it, it took me a few hours. It, I literally just sat down for a few hours and did it, which isn't really normal for my what I normally do. I kind of like just kind of like do it this one took a while it was probably the longest video i ever worked on to that point so when it did very well i was very happy with the fact that it did so well so yeah very happy with how well that one did moving on so i'm currently also while doing this going through to see which ones were my favorites next is the spider gwen last dance this was a very good video, especially at the time. Great. My stuff keeps falling today. Okay. Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, Last Dance. Very good video. Um, I really liked it, and it was a very fun review, reaction review. Um, normally, I don't really enjoy doing reactions and reviews, but this one I did really enjoy. Um... Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Okay, I'm just also I'm just jotting down which ones I'm putting on my top list, and I'm gonna do them really live. Fanflix. I'm gonna talk about this. So Fanflix was a site I tried to launch, which has a fan film. It's still up, like you can still go on it, but it's a fan film site where you can go on and you can like look at fan films. It's not really that big, but you can look at fan films. You can, and then once you click on one, there's like a screen that's like, do this. Like, I'm actually just going to click on it. No, because I'm talking this one. This goes to like the official trailer, right? So you can see, first one, first sisters of House Black, you can be like, watch official trailer, cast and crew, and rate. And in my opinion, it was a very good idea at the time. I would really like to bring back Flan Flicks. So in the comments, please ask, say that. If you want, of course, if you're interested in the like trying to bring back fanflix i haven't updated it in months but if you want me to um update it and talk and like really do more with it just comment down below and i will next we have the 37 best fan films of all time this was the longest video i made to that date ranking 37 fan films all at once um at first i thought this video was going to blow up and it did awful this is another video i definitely recommend to you if you want to see some really great Phantoms ranked, I'd 100% say watch that. Next up is the Slasherverse episodes. So, um, yeah. This was a start of a very great series. Um, there were very good episodes in this, very bad episodes in this. Um, yeah, I love doing these Slasherverse reviews, and this is the one that did worst. Next we have Black Panther is bad review this was a video the only is bad series when i've done up to date it did very well people did not like everything i said about it and why i thought it was bad in the video so i my opinions have changed a bit on the video on the film not really but this was definitely one of the best videos i up- uploaded by far next we have slash reverse episode two okay so this is a very big episode um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay, so I just started jotting down a few notes. Um, Slash Reverse Series, really enjoyed it. Um, I really liked watching it, and yeah, overall, I really just enjoyed the Slash Reverse Series. Next, we have all She-Hulk episodes ranked. This is not just the best video that I had all year. This was the best video on my channel, period. It's not a great video. It's actually a re- pretty bad video, but it, for some reason, it has 3,500 views. Next, we have a talk about Lotus and Promite. As you can see, the any video I make about Lotus is does very well. Next, we have another slash reverse video that does very well. Why does Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania look so much like Star Wars is a, just a funny video, especially the thumbnail. Spider-Man Lotus Final Trailer Reaction. This is the best Lotus video the, that did best. It's also, I definitely say, the best. This released probably an hour after the final trailer released. And it's like a whole reaction, my thoughts on it, and actually did very well. 2.2 is very good for my channel. 
Next, we have slash first episode four reaction review. This video was actually doing very bad at first. Now, I think it might be the most viewed in the slash reverse series. Yes, it is now the most viewed in the slash reverse series. I don't know why it is. A few, literally, like, a few months ago when I first looked, it was really doing awful. However, because I just noticed now that it has 385 views, um, now I'm going to actually go down, and while this I'm talking about this, I'm actually going to find it and see the analytics for it. Okay, yeah, Slash Reverse Episode 4. It started to go way better in December. Yeah, I did not think this video was actually doing very well. To tell you the truth, but I still like it. Um, definitely another Slash Reverse good one. Okay, last hunt announcement. Did very well. In my opinion, it's not a great video. Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre review, reaction review, another great one. I recommend really watching the Slash Reverse series on my channel. Um, yeah, I'd say, um, yeah, I overall really liked this series. Uh, yeah. I think, sorry, as I was saying about the Slash Reverse trail of series, all five are on my channel, um, one, two, three, four, five, they're all about 20 minutes, and I definitely suggest watching them, because it's fun to watch, and even if you don't want to watch my reactions to it, I definitely re recommend them watching the episodes ranked, because I go in depth about all of them. Um, yeah, I overall really like that. I'm doing a lot of jotting right now. Um, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever review, another great review. I'm, I think it was a good review. Quarantine reaction. My opinion, it's not a great video. In my opinion, it's not a. It wasn't really a great video. However, it did very well. And I think. Yeah, I think it definitely could have done better, but it is what it is, and it was one still one of the best videos that's been on my channel. Five oh five. Even now, it's still very good, and it got seen by like things in, um, like the actual, um, what's it called, the studio. And I should add that there's things like um, OPS Studios. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this year it goes on season two. So you'll see a lot of times. I actually forgot. I said this at earlier, and I'm sorry I forgot. But a lot of these have the studio's comments, like "Thank you so much for reacting." A lot of these have studio story, like studio comments. Um, I just forgot to keep talking about it, and I also just forgot which ones actually had those. Kingpin of Time fan film announcement. So this is my own fan film. It got announced four months ago. This is like a cast announcement, things like that. Last Hunt Predictions, very good video. In my opinion, it's actually very good to watch. Um, I've been talking about a lot. Um, Spider-Man Nocturnal did very well. I don't know why. Um, next, we have the fan film awards announcement. I did not think it was going to do as well as it did, but it not the video itself, but... It did. Spider-Man The Kingpin of Time teaser trailer. One of the best videos I've... The actual film is going to be the video I worked the hardest on ever. This might not be the best, but it's definitely going to be one of the ones I worked the hardest on. I'm very excited it, for it to release on April 8th. Definitely recommend watching the teaser trailer. Moving on, Nightwing Rebirth review. This one was... Hey guys, welcome I'm back to another remember video. I'm now going to remember to say this one was can't read about by the studio. Did very well. Next, we have Dead No More final trailer reaction. Hey guys, welcome Did back to another video. Did not get commented on by the studio, but this was a reaction to the trailer. Very good. Finally, the Fan Film Awards of 2022. One of the best videos I uploaded all year by far. Um, huge award show, one hour. So many votes came in, so difficult to do. I loved it overall, and I can't wait to do it again in 2023. I am confirming that. Flash Season 1 Review. So, this video was the first of a big series, 703. The first video I uploaded in 2023 and did absolutely amazing. So happy with how it did. And it's a very good video. I would recommend watching that. And the Fan Film Awards. It's a long video, yes. One hour, very long. Would still recommend it. Next, um... The Flash Season 2 review, nothing much to say about it. I'm just going to say 
another great one. Talks about it. Back to basics trailer reaction review. Great trailer. <coughs> Next is the fan film challenge announcement. So not everything goes on well on channels, obviously. It's a great example of it. Um, great idea, in my opinion, at least to like a huge fan film community challenge. Failed, no one submitted, so whatever. And is it still good for Black Panther Wakanda Forever? Another fine video, nothing much to say. This, Flash Season 9 Episode 1. This started a huge series um, where every week I would react to the episode of The Flash and give my, not react, but review it. And that started a huge series, which is still going on. And before um, I keep talking, I'm just going to quickly say the reason this uploaded a day earlier is because tomorrow I'm doing a 9 episode 7. Here is another, here is the Last Hunt teaser trailer at 0.25x speed. Another pretty good video. Slash Season 9 Episode 2 and Flash Season 3 is it still good. Two and other videos that, if you're interested in The Flash, I definitely recommend watching a lot of these. In 2023, I've been doing a lot of Flash-related content. Next is Episode 3, Dead No More Review. Both Dead No More reviews, I'm going to talk about the second one in a minute. This one did very well, got released immediately after, and got a lot hey of guys, welcome back comments, to another video. right? Yeah. So we got a lot of very good uh, comments and stuff from it. Kingpin of Time official trailer. Um, this is the official trailer for the fan film. In my opinion, the trailer is better. The official trailer is better than the teaser trailer. 100% would recommend this, and even is my channel thingy. Next is episode four. Next, we have a scene-by-scene -scene breakdown. Never done one of these before. Um, did very bad at first, but if you are interested, if you really enjoyed Zen No More, I would 100% recommend watching this. It's long, but it talks everything about Zen No More. Next, we have Flash Season 9, Episode 5. This is the best um, one of those reviews I did lately. It did the best. And besides that, I don't have... I think that's it. We have Season 4. We have... Um, episode 6. So here's what's going to happen now. I'm going to take a few minutes break, and I'm going to make my decisions. So before I get into my top 5, I'm going to quickly talk about my honorable mentions. Spider-Man Lotus Final Trailer is an honorable mention. The next is Slash vs. Episodes Ranked. And finally is going to be the Flash Season 1, Is It Still Good? Now, um, sorry yeah. if that got a bit cut. In 5th place is the Kingpin of Time Official Teaser Trailer. My opinion, the teaser trailer is very good, and in yeah, I think it did very well, and I think it makes the top five. I should add, the top five is not the best doing videos, because you'll know She-Hulk will not be in this. But these are more episode, f things I feel like I put the most effort into and the most proud of. Fourth is going to be Black Panther is bad. In my opinion, even though it's not so many people might not agree with it, in my opinion, it's still a very good video. Third place is the Prom Night Complete Review. In my opinion, this is a very good full breakdown of Prom Night. Second place is the official trailer for Spider-Man and Kingpin of Time. Even though it didn't do so well, it's still a great trailer for the film. And finally, in first place, is obviously the Fan Film Awards of 2023. Can't hope I'm so happy we had a great third year. Can't wait to see you in the fourth. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.